So you're from the States. Uh, wrong, wrong. Okay. I'm through the States. So you're helping out on the technical side. My forte is setting up your mics. Inside joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No comments. Yeah. Okay. Moving right along. The industry in Japan, it seems that they are a bit more messy. I feel like they're not really prepared. As a director, how would you put younger people on board? I wouldn't put them in. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Roger Francis Clark, and today I'm on Takuma Media. you for coming in oh you're very welcome how are you i'm good i'm good uh relatively good you know relatively good yeah yeah okay because good is relative it is it yes okay yes Do and you know. also uh good depends on uh, the situation but if you look at any situation and you say you think it's good it'll be good so i'm good yeah uh, we're starting <laughs> off really nicely here. <laughs> okay, quite philosophical there, anyway. Oh yeah. Um, deep, deep, deep. deep. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. Um, so, I just first would like to understand a bit more um, where where you come from. Like, you know, so you're from the states. Uh, wrong, wrong. Okay. I'm, no, I'm no, wrong no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, I was born on the Caribbean island of Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. I grew up in Boston in the US. Okay. Yeah, I lived in New York for a while before I came to Tokyo. Right. I'm kind of from I'm I'm through the states. You're through the states. That's yes. a nice way of yes, saying I'm through this. Through the states. Yeah. Uh, but you are Trinidadian? Yes, Trinidad Trinidadian. Trinidadian. Okay. Yes. Okay. You've been living quite a while in Japan, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been here for a while. For a while, like 10 years or so. Sure. Sure, okay. Sure. Had a bit of mystery there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Mystery um, is magic. Mystery is magic. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So, um, so what, what, do you, what do you do now in Japan? I work as a creative director. Right. Uh, and I'm also uh, currently involved in uh, creating a, a new, a kind of somewhat of a new IT product. Product, okay. Yes, where... Um, it's a... I forgot what I wrote. I will read it out for okay. you. So I see here, uh, so active assisting uh, both new and veteran entrepreneurs, business owners and art artists in building and improving their brands. Yes. Um, for existing brands and non-existing brands alike, act, uh, activities include creating brand names, brand logos, brand concept, product or services, conception and product or services design direction, uh, worked with corporations as well as medium size and sole proprietor entities. Currently, closely involved with uh, Coopervise. Yes, Coopervise. Coopervise service that supports digital marketing with an organic content optimization. OCC, right. OCC. Organic uh, content with optimization. Comprehensive live stream management um, services. That's a mouthful. It's two mouthfuls. It's two mouthfuls. But it's actually, it's uh, if I, I am to explain what I do, mm. that's that's it. That's it. Yeah. That what's what's written there. That's it. What I wrote to you. Okay. So uh, with the organic uh, content optimization, uh, we produce for whoever needs this kind of service a, right. a live stream, a regular live stream. And the it's supported with an SEO component mm -hmm. to help organically uh, build your brand and build the followers around your brand as you are live streaming. To right. to so put what, it simply, what would be the, the your, tip, your typical client? It, the client can be anyone from a uh, sole proprietor, an artist, and one person, an artist or entrepreneur, mm -hmm. or it can be a uh, up and coming new brand, mm -hmm. you know, or it can be someone who has uh, information that they want to disseminate, information that they want to tell to the to the general public on a regular basis and keep them up to date with uh, what's going on. Anyone who'd want to do a live stream, right? Anyone who'd want to do a po podcast, those kind of people would be the uh, potential clients, right? So you're helping out on the technical side, yes, right? Yes, okay. so that the person or the corporation can be 
from anywhere like yes can be in english and in japanese yes yes right. okay yes. Mm -hmm. and then also my forte is also the uh branches off into the creative side as well so you so know you're we creating logos yes yes uh all of the creative stuff that you need to have done okay. you know creating logos like to make yourself setting up your mics right <laughs> <laughs> anything to make That's yourself known inside joke inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> No comment. <laughs> okay. okay, moving right along. <laughs> moving right along. Yeah. So, um, so you have worked also as well in the, in the states. Yes. Right. But uh, uh, it, it was completely different. No, no, no. My journey is an interesting journey because uh, a lot of it, uh, a lot of the blooming, yeah. so to speak, mm. has happened in Japan. Right. I was a photographer. Okay. at one point okay. and a model at the same time so at one point in my life i was walking on runway fashion shows okay and also shooting models uh, for you know uh magazines and whatever right so you were in front of and, and both, the camera. yes okay yes right. and that led to the journey in that journey i went from that to from photo and modeling to uh, video and mm -hmm. video direction. Right. And then uh, website direction uh, for, you know, uh, uh, corporate clients mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And then that led to uh, brand uh, product development, uh, creating, uh, helping brands create new in innovative products for the market. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, creative direction so right. actually directing the creative team right. because it, within that journey it's le I've I've had the experience in directing hair makeup people mm -hmm. uh, stylists uh, working directly with the uh, graphic designers right. with the art di with the art uh, directors mm -hmm. so uh, along the way I developed the the skills needed to actually direct the creative team right and uh, also some of those skills that these those people uh, within the creative team i also have some of those skills as well right 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 and you you uh, so you you worked in the same sort of industry in in the states and in japan in the states i at that time at that point i was still just uh well not just but i was modeling and okay and shooting and photography right so so it's like a, a natural I evolution from right. where you were in the states right okay okay right and i also did that here in japan as well uh, okay. modeling and uh pho photography work how is the uh the, the like the the work environment uh in japan compared to what it was in, in the us i can only uh speak about production okay uh I, I, to compare mm, both yeah some of the for example old fashion and fashion stuff at the time i felt it was uh a lot tighter ship in in tokyo a lot uh more organized a lot more you know everybody's on there you know on their best game but when it comes to film and video i felt the staff in the states had, were more on top of their game and right. you know doing a little better <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, no, I mean, uh, um, but they're also more protected in the states, I guess. Yes, 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 and, and I guess that does help to make the overall uh, environment mm. a little, a little bit more serious, right? Because you have some union people on set, you know, and they're really serious about what they do. Mm. You, you know, the non-union people is kind of like step up to be you know the same energy why do you think that you know uh, the, the 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 industry in japan is how it, how it is now like why why do you think it's uh like they take more maybe more time to do stuff they it seems that they are a bit more messy well i think there's a lot of reasons stemming from the landscape of media is mm -hmm. changing. Media that, that uh, the art is being expressed through has been changing, you okay. know. 
more digital stuff more streaming stuff you know less tv less magazines budgets are getting smaller what do you think that is if there are not a lot of people watching tv or mm. or buying magazines mm. then you know budgets will get smaller right yeah what about the budgets for uh filmmaking or movie uh, i don't, I don't know. know i can't speak on that but uh you know i th- i feel I, i get the sense that budgets in general mm. have been you know, shrinking a bit but mm. another thing is that uh the development of young talent you know young people mm. coming in i feel like they're not really prepared right you know whether it be having training or enough training or or even just their uh, the education and there's been a you know I was talking to a producer the other day uh, and he was speaking on how uh this young generation is very uh super sensitive okay uh, maybe you know older generation may say soft right 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 you know <laughs> So they they get upset for So, you know, whereas um I think there was a point where if you if someone told you were doing something wrong and, and do it this way, you understood that they were trying to help you. Right. But I think the very this new generation, they don't realize that that, that is actually trying to help them because mm-hmm. uh, they've been told what they're doing is okay. Right, right. right. So they don't realize that they need to in order to evolve and to grow they need to learn new things that they don't know and sure. somebody has to teach them sure and uh you know not everybody is their mom so right, yes. so and in, in a high intensity type of environment then someone may just say blah 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 do this do that do this yeah you know and and because it, it needs to get done sure and yeah. uh you know i think an older generation would know okay i got to do this that and that as he said so everything will be okay yeah whereas that y- yeah different. they're they're like oh you're attacking me <laughs> and it's like no 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 yeah. it's not an attack you know get on board so there's a big disconnect between right. Be, uh, yeah big yeah. generational disconnect that needs uh, a few bridges built you know a few lifelines thrown a few lifesavers thrown you know how would you like uh, as a director how would you do this how would you uh, put people like like younger people on board i wouldn't put them in okay okay <laughs> 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 I'm joking. Uh well, I'm kind of joking. <laughs> But at, at But, some stage you ha- you'll have right, to Right. So, yeah. I think it's maybe uh, to communicate to understand to have them understand that uh anything that you're telling them that you know may be new to them or if it's not told to them in a very super super soft mom type nice of way. Nice way, yeah. Yeah, that um it's okay. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that they're doing a bad job. It doesn't yeah. mean that they're not good people. It just means that uh, you know that in that situation that was the best that you can do. Yeah, it's not a personal attack. It's right. just right. Uh, like a professional right. sort of advice. Right. Okay. Yeah, I, I I hope you know I feel that if they realize that that's the best you can do at the time, mm. and you know you're trying to help them. You know, they can. Some people can be more understanding. You know, that yeah. so you try to pick the people who can be understanding. The people who have uh, their uh, social development is a little, uh, you know, uh, better developed. Mm-hmm. You said that uh, so budget might be getting tighter and tighter. Um, does that also show? for for i mean within your work like you 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 work with clients to to build up basically their brand helping them uh with technical stuff but also with you know their image like with the logo making and stuff um, logo making, making brand name making did, did concept s- making yeah did you see any sort of um, shrinkage of of budget it depends it, uh <laughs> Honestly the way that I work is I you build a client. Yeah. You build one. You build. Okay. You you build, oh, you build, okay. You build a client. You it's not like um 
you're buying a, a pair of tires, a set of tires, mm -hmm. and these tires are like uh, 2,000 yen each. You're creating tires for that individual. Mm -hmm. They may not need big, strong truck tires, right? They may right. need uh, like bicycle tires, right? To get them to the next stage. Yeah. So you kind of help them along within their means. Right. Okay. So how, how is price setting then like because usually and that's uh, like a true story um, in Japan whenever I, I speak to someone they always want to to know the like the how much right so so you have to have a a set price that you are going to start with okay you know and also a, a price that um, you won't go any lower than mm. So like once a, these a two things, sort of yes, yeah. once these two things are in place, you know, you can uh, move forward, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. But uh, this is something that you develop over time to know where you should start, you know, know what the market is, what the market rates are, know what your client's needs are. Yeah. You know, if the client is a bigger client, they may have bigger needs, which, which may call it in may mean more budget yeah. uh, you know uh, needs to happen you need to, you need to receive more to fulfill those needs smaller client may have smaller needs can you walk us through your sort of mindset like how how would you approach clients how would you nail down like the the correct price well you, the first and most important thing is that you have to know what they need yeah you have to know two things you have to know what they want mm -hmm. and what they need okay because sometimes these are two different things and sometimes they don't even realize that uh, what they want is not what they need. True. So in your ability to show them what they need and is not what they want, mm -hmm. you've already shown your value. It's like a, yeah, okay, like a consultant sort of thing. Yeah, you've yeah, already yeah. shown yeah. Your, your value, you know, it's okay. So if they f the client can feel, okay, yeah, this person knows what they're talking about. They will be able to take care of me. Mm -hmm. And this person needs X amount of money, you know, then you figure it out, you know. All right. Yeah. I mean, uh, I like to be fair. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's because I'm fair with other people. People are fair with me. Right. You know, and then sometimes, you know, in this world, you know, sometimes things are not fair, right? Yeah. But you need, within that, you know, if you know, okay, this is the bottom. The mm -hmm. When I say bottom, the lowest, yeah. I'm going to go yeah. and feel happy, about, uh, feel okay about it, you know. As long as you've set that, then you know that, okay, I did that, you know. And not, not that someone uh, made me go cheaper and that's the thing that would make you feel upset with yourself true if you felt that you went cheaper than you should have gone yeah but as long as you stay true to yourself you know say okay i can do this for this amount this mm. is the lowest i'm gonna go to be happy A and and to be happy that's really interesting i mean um you know um i always wonder when i have like people who were not like born in japan um uh, in the first place how they how they manage to like to create their own business, their own work here. Mm -hmm. uh, how how was that like for you? How how did you start your your business in Japan, and how did you start working here? How did I start? You just came and started right off. It's uh, it's very interesting <laughs> my journey because okay. I've never worked in a in a Japanese company. Right. But I've always I've worked with. Japanese companies that's a comfortable area for me it's always that's always been comfortable for me so, so you don't have any boss so to speak uh, you not really a boss but someone that you have to answer to you do sure yeah but uh, you know the the perspective is like this is my client mm -hmm. you know not uh, this is my boss true right true so you know i've done a lot of project project based work okay and you know you work on the project when the project is done you, you know you're done you move to the, on to the next project but your first contract how how did you get it 
if I may ask. Okay, so remember I was photographing uh, yeah. Yeah. and uh, modeling, right? Yeah. So modeling is, uh, you are the product, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I'd like you to walk in um, our my, my fashion show, mm -hmm. right? It's mm -hmm. kind of um, being in the right place at the right time, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, you know, you can join an agency and your agency will uh, present you. I, at one time, I had my own agent, actually, which was okay. was quite uh, interesting, quite nice. In Japan, you mean? Yes. Okay. I'm fluent in Japanese. Yeah. And I think that's extremely important. It is. Yeah. So, for example, I remember shooting a catalog for a fashion brand, right? Mm -hmm. And I was... Uh, modeling at the time okay. right and we're in we're back in the dressing room backstage you know uh, between scenes between sets you know they're changing the scene you know setting up for the for the next few shots and I'm talking with the producer or the the the, the client the brand the, the people you know who are taking care of managing the, the brand and yeah. you know they knew I lived in New York and conversation came out that I you know took photographs so I was asked, could you take some street photography for us? Okay. And, Interesting. You know, and I was, oh, yeah, I could do that. And so it's kind of like organically, you know, naturally, you know. Uh, Organic content optimization. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because I could uh, speak Japanese okay. and they could communicate, th mm. that I could communicate and they could communicate with me. I got that started one job and then once once you've done one job it connects often connects to another job and another job and then you can show people oh, I've done this and I've done this and I've done that and so you know and people have yeah. friends and you're right. working in the similar industry Word and of you know mouth and yeah. yeah yeah okay that's really interesting how um how you just you know, move on and just evolve in a in any country who I mean a country which doesn't really appear to be uh, i don't know if i can say this but foreigner friendly if you don't know japanese yeah. well it kind of makes sense doesn't it Why? if if i can't talk to you how how well, can i yeah how can <laughs> I, mean, I be okay, your friend yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, but I, I i i yeah i've seen lots of people and just they, their japanese are is okay but they're not they don't really speak it yeah, but that's but that's, that's the key. Yeah. Yes, you you said it yourself. Yeah, that's a key. It's yeah, okay, exactly. but they don't really speak it. That's a key. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It makes sense if you were in Belgium. If I was in Belgium and I couldn't speak. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I which, which language is <laughs> Belgian's <laughs> language? <That's cool. laughs> I couldn't speak mm. Belgian. <laughs> cut this. Uh, <laughs> that's a big cut there. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm not sure. I, I I wasn't sure if I should say French or not because, I, you know. So, w w correct me, help it, me with this. Uh, so, there are three official languages. So, okay. French being one of them. Uh -huh. And you have uh, Dutch in uh -huh. the north and you have uh, German um, in the east of the country. It's just a very small part of the country. but. So, three. it's the main language? French and Dutch. It's it literally divided in two. Okay. Um, so if I couldn't speak anyway, French yeah. or Dutch, oh, how would I be able to navigate? Yeah. yeah. That's true. Who who will know that I can take amazing photographs? If true. you know, I can say that, and then it, they, you know, I don't understand this guy. He's saying something. What do you need? Uh, mm. yeah, I don't. You know, I don't want to be bothered. You know. Right. You know? Have you ever, because, so you speak to people quite, you know, uh, naturally and frankly, that's also one of the reasons why I think you, you, you get all these like referrals. You need to first meet with the person in order for them to. At some point. Yeah. Yeah. At some point you have to meet them and uh, depending on what they need, you know, if it's something that can be done by email or, you know, back and forth, one, two, three, four, done, you know, yeah. of course, but if they are if someone needs help developing their brand mm -hmm. they're going to need a conversation sure yeah they're not it's not and uh through mail there's a lot of nuance that gets left out yeah so That's you need yeah. to communicate you need to understand you need to be able to at the real time say 
well is it this kind of blue or that mm -hmm. kind of blue yeah you know and have them say oh no it's the other kind of blue and they say oh, okay got it you know so i see so, so many people they just want to post I mean, if they're off um if they do photography they, they just post things on instagram or socials and they think that people will will dm them and get you know work like that it is do you think that's that's uh, a possibility i've gotten work through my work for example i took photographs of someone and then their manager saw those photographs and said i'd okay. like this person to photograph to take photographs for this other uh product or pro project right mm -hmm. so through my work i've gotten work the problems with this whole social stuff is that there's a lot of untruths True. floating around right so some people pretend mm -hmm. you know they, they they take the whole fake it till you make it thing too literal you could fake it and then really get run over mm. if you're out of your league right sure, if you, you sure. don't know if you actually don't know how to do all of these things that people think you need to do you know how to do oftentimes it's more there's a larger budget at stake yeah you're not just what's being given to you but you know for the for the space for transportation there may be food there may be a lot of you know so yeah you don't if you mess up and you're the key component right the whole that whole budget is a wash of course you know? yeah, yeah, yeah like a real imposter it's not not the imposter syndrome but yes the real the real yes imposter, yes, right? yes yes you want to know okay this person can really do this thing mm -hmm. you know they didn't have a computer do it for them ai mm, yeah that that too that too so we're talking about the uh all the the work you you've you've uh you've done and, and been doing um so i i have here so it's co-provise and that's the uh that's the what is it exactly that's the 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 company it's the brand name it's the brand name right because it's only in english at this time but it will be in japanese very soon but it's japan based yes okay. based in tokyo okay. in this day and age it doesn't really matter where you are right True. what about the one uh, well one two one two, one, two, one two yeah is my uh creative agency oh that's yours yes personal okay yeah okay so you do you do both actually right sometimes i, I have i uh, jobs coming uh, through one two one two okay and uh with cooperative we have a regular client okay so one two one two is like you you work on your own or you have your your, your own team um, uh, both both yeah depending on what the what the needs are what was the one of your like latest well the job latest work? A brand for a sole proprietor, a, a woman who is doing a special service within the realm of beauty stuff. Yeah, beauty stuff. Yeah. yeah. And she wanted to cre create a service and get the service out to the people because, okay, okay some people may have the skills, right? Mm. And um, But they don't know how to make create a brand. It's oftentimes not a skill that the individual will have you know they may have that they oh i know how to make your skin look good and you know what makeup you need and this kind of thing but not know about all of those other things true i guess you're also uh putting your um expertise into practice because you have your own your own brand yes 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 um uh, Moo? yes moo is uh a, a new project my my own uh, personal project it's interesting because um, I see on the website uh, Moo is everything, but the first thing I, 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 I think of when I when I hear Moo is like nothing. Right. Uh, because Moo in Japanese means uh, nothing. Right. You say Moo is everything. Yes. So the website is mooisnothing.com. So True. True. Moo is nothing. But Moo is everything. But Moo is everything. I sometimes uh, Zen uh, engage in Zen meditation, you know, Zazen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And in that meditation, you're kind of uh, striving to get to the place of nothing, where your mind is empty, and you know, yeah. you you let your thoughts go, come and go, come and go until they stop coming, and then you're in this state of move, a state of nothing. 
But within that state of nothing tends to be everything that you need. Because uh, from my, my experience has been that um, I'll get the answer if I need an answer. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that I need, I will get from the nothing. So that's why I say it's everything. Moo is a lifestyle brand right? Uh, with this kind of uh, eth ethos, with this kind of thinking uh, behind it. Right. Uh, lifestyle brand, um, what is it actually about? Like, Well, uh, we will have physical products, but we will also have some uh, uh, experiences that uh, people okay. can engage in. We're also we're planning a, a zazen experience. Interesting. We're planning uh, some social experiences. I like to have people who are proficient in, for example, teaching nutrition or okay. teaching exercise or stretching, these kind of things. You know, all the things to help you have a more uh, fruitful life experience. Mm -hmm. It is a wellness brand. Right. And um, the first product I'm still working on right now, I'm not exactly sure what it will be, but it will be, I want to have something that anybody and everybody can partake, can, can enjoy, you know, mm -hmm. can buy and enjoy. So be on the lookout for that. Why do you really want to have a physical product? Physical products tend to have uh, two more than one purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, if I had a T-shirt, it would be something that you could wear, but it would also be something that would promote the brand to other people. True. So people would see the logo and stuff. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. So it would help with brand recognition. What I will uh, ask you now is okay. actually a question. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's not mine. Right. It's a question that the, the previous guest actually okay. wrote down for us. Okay. Uh, I haven't uh, read it yet, so okay. I don't know what it is. Okay. Right. Interesting. Um, so I had my, my uh, French friend mm -hmm. uh, on, on, on the show. His question is, if there is something you would like to, to change in Japan or about Japan, what would that be? Hmm. Mm, thinking time. Something to change. Something you would like to 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 change or see changing in Japan or something about Japan that you would like to see or actually is change. it is it have to be uh, does it have to be Japan sp specific? Because uh, I'd like to see. Uh, Less people walking around with this with their phones. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but that might not be Japan specific, right? It's not specific. Yeah. Although in Japan, it's quite it's it's happening, but yeah. yeah. So it's um, it's people are uh, believe that it's or or they yeah they tend to believe that it's a good thing that they're doing you know but it's actually lowering the overall intelligence of the people right yeah and uh the, the overuse yes yes yeah it's a shame because you you can develop your 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 a ability to be with yourself you know True. you're walking down the street you're thinking you know or you see someone oh that person oh that those are cool, that fashion is cool or mm. you know uh you know or maybe even have a chance to speak with someone or, you know oh, yeah. you know uh, to experience life you know to experience this world you know if you leave your home and you're looking on your phone and you come back and you're looking on your phone and you're in your home and you're looking on your phone yeah. you're not here seems like you're plugged into the matrix yeah yeah yeah, yeah um, but we live um, in a sort of attention economy I think so the, the phone is you know what just grabs your attention um, so but you know a, as someone who just wants to to put people out there like through brands etc how do you how do you cope with that like don't do, like watch watch your phone less but still I would like you to see this person well the, I think the problem is people are not in control mm. 
their their phone is in control. Right. Don't touch your phone for at least an hour. Right. You know, and uh, take care of the things that you have to do. What morning morning ritual you have, you you do that, and uh, then you say, okay, now I can turn you on and see what's going on. So I think that's in doing that you start to be able to control your use I, I feel like you're not really living if you're if you're yeah. there you're in there the whole time you know it's like well why sort of daydreaming yeah 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 all that time could have been spent to doing something to make you really happy you know your ability to learn something and and uh improve yourself what gives you more uh, satisfaction mm -hmm. you know makes more confidence you know makes your life so much more uh yes and enjoyable all right well i think that will be the uh the last word of this uh conversation here um so thank you thank you for coming in um, thank you for having me yes thank uh, you for having me maybe uh, we'll have you a second time when we are like leveled up yeah sure sure um, I think we'll, we'll keep in touch anyway yes okay thanks au revoir au revoir wow <laughs> we're making progress in French then. yeah okay, nice ciao ciao bello how, how do you say it in uh, Dutch uh, dankjewel 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 Thank you, Val. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, Val. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, thanks. Cheers. Cheers.